Hey everyone, uh, Chris again, and I've got another Hey Chris question. Uh, today's one is, Hey Chris, can you go through the different size of ukuleles? And yeah, we get asked this question quite a fair bit. So let's go through them. Okay, so this is the soprano ukulele. This is generally where we start from. This is the smallest ukulele you can get. The size is 21 inches usually, give or take. Some manufacturers take it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Um, so just use the measurement as a little bit of a guide. These are the small ones ideal for, for children. Usually they come in either 12 to 15 frets. Cool. The next one that we have is called the concert size. This is generally 23 inches and between 15 and 20 frets. So this one's a little bit bigger. If you're finding that the soprano ukulele is cramping your style with your fingers, you can have a look at going to the concert size. So it's tuned, still tuned exactly the same way as your normal ukulele, G, C, E, and A. Um, but it's just a little bit bigger than the soprano. Next up, we get the tenor ukulele. This is my personal favorite size. You're looking at 26 inches, uh, or thereabouts, and uh, 15 or more frets uh, for the tenor ukulele. This is still tuned exactly the same way as your standard uh, ukulele, G, C, E, and A. With this size ukulele, you can have the option where you can get a low G string. Generally, the ukuleles that we've gone through before, you'd really want the high G, which is traditional, but you can now opt for getting a low G. Um, I've got two tenor ukuleles, one with the low G, one with the high G, so best of both worlds there. So that takes care of the tenor ukulele. The next one we have is called the baritone ukulele. This is 30 inches and it's got a 19 or more frets. This one can be tuned a couple of different ways. Uh, the way that I would approach it is I tune it much like the guitar where it goes D, G, B and E. Um, so it's tuned much more like a guitar. The same ukulele chord shapes will still be the same but now they will have different names. So what was a G chord on your standard ukulele is now a D chord on this one. Uh, so it, they will have different names. Your, what was your C is now going to be your G chord, so on and so forth. But if you're familiar with guitar, it's going to be the same chord shapes from there. The other way that you can do it, you, a lot of guys are now opting for, to get the baritone ukulele because it's got a nice deep sound and tuning it G, C, E, A, much the same as your standard ukulele, but definitely going with the low G. Uh, so you can tune it that way and you can have a really nice sound doing it that way. So whichever way that you prefer, um, as long as you're having fun with it at the end of the day. Again, I say this almost every video. If you have any questions or queries and want to learn more, just harass your, the people at your local music store. We're always happy to help. Uh, and we don't mind if you play through every single ukulele to get the one that you best like, that best suits your needs. Cheers, thanks, I've been Chris. Again, if you do have any questions, just shoot them through to chris at musicheaven.com.au and I'll answer them in the show. Cheers, thanks.